Hi everybody, well this is the first video I've done on this channel for an awful long time <laughs> and okay so this isn't strictly photography but it is image related isn't it? So hi everybody, welcome back. Um, in this video I'm going to take a first quick look at a telescope that the very kind people at Kent Faith um, sent me. Um, as you know, I haven't really done anything on this uh, YouTube channel for an awful long time. And it's mainly about photography and tech-based stuff. Um, but until I get back into photography, I, I get sent offers by different companies um, every now and again. And Kemp Faith said, look, what do you fancy checking out? I said, well, I'll tell you what, I really fancy checking out this um, telescope. You'll find the link in the description below this video. Um, because I've never really had a chance to play around with a telescope before. So this is an this is an entry level telescope. It's six hundred mil focal length with an eighty mil aperture. I don't know if we can get round to the front so that you can you can see that like that. Um, and the the kit comes with uh, the tripod, um, and it comes with the uh, twenty five mil eyepiece, which is the, kind of the lowest magnification, and then it also comes with a 10 mil eyepiece and then the three times barlow lens um, which means and i'm just reading off their website here give that gives you a 24 times to 180 times level of magnification unfortunately the summer here in the uk has been a bit wet and a bit cloudy in the evening so there hasn't been that many times when i've been able to get out and have a play around with it and obviously this is the sort of thing you need to um you need to kind of have a practice with. However, there have been a couple of nights where I've got some very nice images. Well, I haven't taken any photographs, but I've seen some uh, very nice views of the moon and especially the craters of the moon on the, uh, I'm not quite sure what it's called, but like the line of shadow when you don't have a full moon, when you have like a, a, a half moon or a quarter crescent moon and you look at the shadow and you can see the, uh, the craters with really good definition. That was amazing. Probably though, one of the most exciting things was seeing Saturn. There was uh, about a week ago, Saturn was next to the moon, so it was relatively relatively easy to find. I use there's a Google star map that I use on my phone, so you kind of know where things are going to be. And it was just the left of the moon, so I could track to the left of the moon, and it looked like a star with your um, bare eyes. But looking at it through the, through the map through the telescope, um, and I think I used the ten times um, thing. Um, you could definitely see the disc of the Saturn and you could definitely see the rings sort of dissecting Saturn as well, which I thought well, that was that was amazing when I, when, I, when I saw that. I still need a bit more practice to figure out how to get, you know, the image really, really sharp. Um, and what actually happened as well is what, the, what I didn't realise was that I was using the telescope, but I, for some reason I'd only taken off the centre bit of the the cap i hadn't used the whole thing so if i'd had the whole thing off the image would have been brighter than the scene and i've had a better experience and it would have probably been easier to get the image into focus as well that way so i'm really looking forward to playing around with this as the autumn and winter draws in so we have the clearer crisper nights we can go outside and also i've learned about things like the plane of the elliptic and the fact that throughout the year there's different celestial bodies that are easier are more difficult to see um, in terms of obviously, what I'm really interested in is this is the planets um, and looking at you know the moon in much greater detail as well because I think that's an awful lot of fun but so far I've been impressed it's been good um, and uh, thank you very much for Ken Faith for sending me this telescope so it also comes with I should have said actually comes with a bag there's the bag um, thanks for sending me the telescope looking forward to uh, doing more videos about this learning about it and it does actually as well I'm forgetting all the things it comes with comes with a uh, oh there's me hello it does actually come with a um phone holder that you can mount to it so you can take pictures um using your phone which is pretty exciting isn't it but anyway there we go so thank you very much Ken Faith. check out the link in the description below the videos if, if this is something you might well be interested in and of course um hello everybody Welcome back, and hopefully I'll be seeing, and uh, well, you'll be seeing a lot more of me soon. Thank you very much, and I'll uh, see you again soon. Bye.